Hi, my name is Beth and I'm the sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to adhere fusible interfacing to your fabric. Fusible interfacing is a fabric that has glue dots on one side and when you iron it to your fabric, it'll stick to your fabric and make it a little bit thicker. You'll most often find interfacing if you're sewing a top with a facing or a skirt or pants with a waistband. You'll also find it when you're making a button down shirt or dress. You'll wanna use that interfacing in the front of the button band to give it a little more weight and to hold up with the buttons and the buttonholes. It'll make it sturdier. And you'll also find it in a collar. So like if you go look in your closet and you look at ready to wear button down shirts, you'll see that the collars can be really thick and it feels like it's a different weight than the other fabric. You can find interfacing in a lot of different weights, really like lightweight, medium weight, heavyweight. There's special interfacing that you might use for bag making, which is really helpful, or hat making. Most of the time I use a light to medium weight fabric and you just wanna make sure that you match it to your fabric and the kind of project that you're doing. Years ago, I was making this button front placket for a skirt and I used a really heavyweight interfacing with kind of a medium weight fabric. And it just felt kind of weird and off because that middle part with the button placket was a lot thicker than the rest of the fabric. So if you're unsure about the weight, you can just test it on a scrap of fabric. Maybe test the interfacing on one half of the fabric and hang it up and kind of hold it and see if it feels like it goes smoothly with your fabric that you're using. Testing on scraps is a great way to test your stitches, your interfacing, really anything that you're gonna be doing in sewing. One thing you wanna be careful of when you're selecting interfacing is if you are working with a stretch or a knit fabric, you want to find special knit interfacing. It's not as common to use and it's not found in that many knit patterns, but it is really helpful for certain kinds of garments. So you'll be able to find it in your regular fabric store and just look for the knit interfacing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually fuse the interfacing to your fabric. There are a few tricks that will help you get a really good adhesion to the fabric so that this is not coming away later or wrinkling or puckering. Let's get started. So here I have my fabric, my interfacing, I have my pattern piece for reference. My iron is hot and it has water in it with the steam turned on and I have a press cloth. Now, first thing you wanna do is take your fabric and put it face down onto your ironing board. And it's a good idea just to give it a little press, make sure that it's nice and flat. I'm working with a straight rectangle waistband piece, but if you are doing a facing or something that has a curve to it, you wanna make sure that you get it laid out and flat in the shape that it's intended to be in. Sometimes with these um, pattern pieces, the fabric can get a little bit shifty. So I always like to have my pattern piece just for reference and hold it over your fabric. Make sure that both sides, if it's on the fold, are really in that intended shape. And then you'll do the same thing after you put your interfacing on. So today I'm just doing a rectangle. I don't really need to check that it's staying in the rectangle shape. I'm sewing with a denim fabric. So I have gone ahead and trimmed away a little bit of the seam allowance from my interfacing. I took about a quarter of an inch off each seam edge of my interfacing. And this is just to reduce bulk. After the, this is adhered to the fabric, I won't be able to trim away any of the interfacing. So it's kind of an early grading on the fabric. Now, I have put my interfacing with the bumpy side down. So this interfacing is made from kind of a kind of fiber and then little glue dots. You might be able to see those little dots and you can feel with your fingers what side the dots are on. So this side is really nice and smooth and I wanna have that up. Now I have my fabric at a pretty high setting you do want to be careful that you don't have it too high because sometimes that will melt your interfacing or it can melt your fabric. So I'm also going to put this press cloth on top of my fabric and this is just a cotton kitchen towel, pretty thin, and it's helpful for two reasons. 
First, it's gonna create a barrier between the iron and the fabric, and it will prevent burning or melting. Second, if you accidentally have put your interfacing wrong side up, then it's going to stick to your press cloth and not to your iron. If you do get interfacing onto your iron, there are little cleaning kits that you can use to clean the glue off. So what I like to do first, I just tack down, go up and down a little bit to start to get my interfacing attached. You can just do it in a few sections and that'll just tack it in place, but it's not totally adhered yet. So after I just make sure I get everything in the position that I want it to be, I'm gonna go ahead and do a good press. And you'll wanna hold your iron maybe like 15 to 20 seconds. And you just hold it in place. And you, as you go, you're going to lift it and move it. If you move your iron side to side, you might shift those layers of interfacing and fabric. So you wanna make sure just to lift the iron up and down as you move along your fabric. And you wanna hold it a good long time to make sure that all of those little glue dots melt into the fabric. A really great fabric to use as a pressing cloth is silk organza. It, it's a little bit see-through, so you'll be able to see where your fabric is. And it's also really strong and can withstand the heat. Now I've just zoomed in and what you want to do is after you've pressed it for a while, you want to get your head up really close and just look and see if those glue dots have disappeared because that's going to be a really good indicator that they have melted into the fabric and that your interfacing won't peel off later or get wrinkly. So after you make sure that all those little glue dots get melted into your fabric, you just leave your fabric right on the ironing board and let it cool. You don't wanna move it around because that might kind of encourage that glue to separate, the interfacing to separate. So you just wanna leave it here until it's all the way cool. Well, I hope that this video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. So you can even make suggestions for future videos. I'm always open to new ideas. And if you want to support this channel and all this free content, I will put links down in the show notes to buy me a coffee or visit the pattern shop. I have a couple of patterns that use interfacing. My Anita wrap skirt and my Dana jumpsuit both use interfacing and they're kind of intermediate levels. So if you're looking to find a project that's a little bit more challenging, this, those might be good patterns for you. And if you haven't already, I would be so honored if you hit the little button below to subscribe to the channel. Happy sewing.